Hey, what's up, guys? All right, we're gonna set up a, uh, we're gonna uh, get a new toast kitchen printer ready. Um, the ribbon is actually in this little box right here, right? And the trickiest part is to crack this open. So just lift that up right there. Lift that up right there. All right. And make sure this is tight. And you kind of want to do it this part down. And kind of cinch that down. Make sure that the ribbon goes behind there. So this part first, and then just slide that down. Press it down real quick, make sure it's tight, and that's good. And then the paper, right there. And just like that, leave it out. Um, there you go. It's kind of loud in the kitchen so let's try some voiceover action uh, we're going to do a self test on the printer to make sure that it is connected to the network uh, we're going to turn it off and then we're going to hold the feed button and then we're going to turn it back on uh, it's going to start printing a bunch of stuff and what you want to focus on is the ip address um, the default address is 192.168.192 dot one six nine if that address pops up on your printer ip address that means that you are not connected to your toast network that means that the uh, internet connection to that printer is not active so you need to you need to troubleshoot that um, make sure that the light in the back turns on and maybe we'll make a video about that later but um, if you get an address like 192.168.192.34, you're good to go. Um, that means you're connected to the network. And you'll see here again um, at the bottom of the uh, of the test, it says uh, print or it says push feed to continue your feed, uh, your uh, your printer test. Um, just turn it off and then turn it back on to, uh, to save paper and you should be good. Let me know if you need anything else. Have a good day.